Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Lainey here. You're probably wondering why am I wearing sunglasses inside my room? Well, I don't know if I can if I want to show you guys, but I kind of got sort of attacked by a mosquito by while I was walking, getting um getting some, I was in the move to get some Sprite, so I went to go buy some Sprite at Target down the street from my house, and yeah, I was walking, and like all of a sudden, out of a blue, some kind of mosquito just attacked my right eye, and in the beginning, I was itchy, I was like, what the heck? And then as I got home, it started to swell up, like it started poofing, and like, I've been like, putting on some of that sty eye lubricant stuff around my eye just to kind of keep the infections from, you know, just to kind of tone it down a bit with the eye. But, and I've been steeping my, um, using like hot compresses just to kind of like make it go down a bit. So, yeah. But anyways, I just, yeah, I'm wearing my sunglasses. So, um, yeah. But anyways, um, I just, I just recently got an email on my Facebook from one of my girlfriends, and she was the reason. You probably have seen her in a couple of my videos, and I've talked about her in a couple of my videos. Um, basically, and it did, did really hit me really, really much. I mean, she has, in the letter, she told me that I'm not a bad person. I have a wonderful heart, and, I mean... I'm a really good, I'm very smart and caring, but I wish, she said, I wish I could be her friend without all the drama that's going on in my life. And the reason why we've, I've had this chaotic friendship with her, it's not her, it's basically me and with me, because I, lately I've been mentally unstable, you know, with all these chain reaction of events going on with me, especially the breakup with my last boyfriend, and, um, you know, trying to get through school, and trying to get on this Medi-Cal thing, everything's just like, whoa, I'm trying to take it one day at a time, um, it's like I kind of brought my chaotic craziness into her life, and, it is true. I am very much a very, very, ha I'm much of a handful to be around with. I mean, I do have friends, but I don't have very much. And sometimes I don't like to get too close to them or too attached to them easy because I'm afraid of putting them in danger. I'm afraid of, like, you know, hurting them. I don't, I don't want them to see the crazy, you know, manic and depressive stages I go through, you know, being the fact, you know, you're bipolar, you know, you sometimes you have a hard time, if you're not treated right, you have a hard time, um, just like, you know, keeping healthy friendships and relationships and stuff, and when she wrote that letter to me, it really did hit me, it's like, I have her back, like, she has my back, and, like, she has my back and has my shoulder to cry on, but the saddest part is that I don't have her back or her shoulder to lean on, and the reason why, and it is true, I am mentally unstable, and it's just when I'm set in my own way, sometimes I tend to forget the other person in the friendship, and the reality is I do love her and care for her and support her. I mean, even if I may not agree to some of the things she believes in or she wants to do, I'll still support her and have her back, though. Don't get me wrong. Like, I never, ever wanted to take her for granted, never wanted to, you know, and it's sad to say I use and abuse, but you know what? I mean, I do love her and I do care for her, and it's just best that, like I said before, it is best that I have to we have to kind of split up for a while just so I can get myself situated right now. And, I mean, I'm just trying to do my own thing. I'm trying to just, you know, take care of myself. And she did mention the next friendship that comes by, don't take it for granted, pass you by, cherish it. And that's what I plan to do. And like I said, I know she's probably watching, but I will, like, I always will care for her and think about her and... You know, just, I mean, I'm very happy and blessed and thankful. She's the one that encouraged me to do this YouTube channel. 
and, you know, just share all my feelings and thoughts about how I deal with life with bipolar, and not just with bipolar, but I also like to goof off, I like to do some singing, you know, just to kind of, you know, lighten up my, lighten up this channel a bit, you know, because I'm not always serious, sometimes I do like to have fun too, so, just to show you guys the other, you know, the humorous side, or the talented side of me, so, anyways, I just wanted to point that out, and, um, all I can do is just be myself and just, I'm taking it one day at a time. Even though I did pass my CNA exam, so now I'm certified. Now the next thing on my hit list is I'm in the process of looking for CNA jobs and getting my driver's license. So one day at a time, and you know, I'm a, I believe that it's all going to come into place. So... We'll see. I'll keep you guys posted on that. So, in the next time, I will keep you guys posted again on my next episode. So, stay tuned. Bye.